all about celebrating the beauty of roses and you can be a part of it at the Ford House in Gross Point Shores. Joining us now with a preview are Kelly Maracle, the Rosarian at Ford House and Rima Kurlanchik, the manager at the Oakland Art Novelty Company. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Kelly, let's start with you. Tell me a little bit about what the Evening of Roses is. Well, it's um, an evening out in Eleanor Ford's personal rose garden. It's a brand new event this year, and we're really looking forward to our guests experiencing everything rose. Everything rose. Everything <laughs> rose. We're going to have um, some delicious rose infused desserts available. Mm -hmm. um, we have a whole rose scent experience and guests will be able to create their own perfume and their own potpourri to take home with them. And of course we will have our rose infused custom created cocktail from Rima and the Oakland in Ferndale. Well actually now that you mentioned that Rima you're here making us a cocktail yeah, today right? Absolutely. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're making and, and what, what yeah. it consists of? 100%. So I was very excited when we got invited to the event because earlier that week someone introduced me to this very lovely rose liqueur so I thought it was absolutely perfect <laughs> um, and decided to take inspiration from um, like the garden and just um, my idea was kind of Turkish delight idea and so there's a little bit of lemon juice a little bit of an almond based sugar mm -hmm. the rose liqueur and a super delightful scotch that's one of my favorites I love that I love the color of this you know because you think rose and then you're thinking rosé and then you're like no those are two separate things completely yeah. <laughs> so you know it sounds like a, a bit of a fun night but is there a lot to learn about roses more than just the red pink yellow yes know? yes there is and I will be there to answer any rose care related questions and more general questions about the garden we really want to highlight Eleanor's garden and the grounds you know at Ford House and it will give everybody a chance to experience the garden a little more intimately than they might normally. So. And so um, I know we were talking about drinks and you're going to pour a drink and our Chris Edwards is uh, going to volunteer for us. He's going to be drinking for two as I call it and uh, but you also have food so while you're getting that drink ready and Chris is making his way over can you tell me a little bit about the food? I know you had mentioned that it's rose flavored as well. Yes, um, Pinwheel Bakery is making all the desserts. Um, this is a strawberry rose shortbread that we have today. There will be all kinds of other things, macarons and tarts for people to try and enjoy with their cocktails. So. And uh, while the drink is still being made, I, I know you said something about the perfume and the potpourri. Uh, tell me a little bit more about the perfume part of it because I'm actually wearing a rose perfume right now, so I'm all in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Alchemy Perfumery um, will be doing demonstrations how to how they distill rose oils from the plants and how they use that to create their perfumes. And they will have a set up where people can create their own with their rose oils and essences. And Rima, you want to just give a quick run through of what you're doing while yeah. I take a nib nibble out of this over here? Absolutely. So in this cocktail, we have a quarter ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice, seven point, or 0.75 ounces of an almond based or jat, the rose liqueur, one ounce of that, and one ounce of the scotch, a little bit of rose water, as well as some peychauds that's going to add another lovely pink color. All right. Chris, you're okay with drinking a pink drink, right? I, I think I can handle that. Yes, <laughs> you know, that was more precision than in meteorology very often. I, I like how you measured you were on that. Have to. Consistency is key. All right. While you're getting ready to pour that, let's grab some information on the screen. Evening of Roses is happening Thursday at the Edsel and Eleanor Ford House in Gross Point Shores at 5.30 p.m. Tickets are $50 for members, $60 bucks for non-members. They're available at FordHouse.org, obviously, but we have to say it, you must be 21 and over to attend. And this is such a beautiful little drink. Look Chris, at that. That cheers. is beautiful indeed. Cheers. And tell us how, tell me, tell me all about it, Chris. <laughs> wow, it, I can taste the kick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. But it's so sweet and smooth. It's yeah. smooth. Thank no. you. I think I might have just a little bit more than a taste. And I'll, I'll, I'll stick with this. Thank you so much, ladies, for <laughs> coming you. in this morning. Great, uh, best of luck to the event. And uh, Chris is going to sip that during the break, and we'll have more news and weather coming after the break. Just, just not too much, Chris. <laughs> we still need you to do weather. <laughs>